Can't keep my dick in my pants. Hey, my bitch don't love me no more. Hey, she kicked me out of life, bro. Alright guys, what's going on? Today is completely off off subject kind of video if you want to put it that way. I've also, because I've been asked for one, how do I do my intros and everything. Well, Panzoid is a free website to use. It's for intros, outros, and you know, different things as you can see. They also have a built-in video editor where you can actually put your videos in here and edit them on site. I don't use that. I just use the video editing shit that comes with my computer just free shit I never pay for software or anything I think actually no I paid for Dbot off subject though but Panzoid is obviously free to use and a lot of people have already put templates down you can take these templates and you can arrange them to your likings and you know it's not just you know, your name or shit like that or you can do like clip maker where you can make your own clip if you know how to do you know graph wise and do different animations and stuff basically you turn it's like a 3d graph you zoom in and out this one is a pre-made one it will look like this without the visuals but then as soon as you add what it's gonna look like at the end looks like that then you've got all these menu options right here of course you know feedback info download music you can change the music that's in it add audio whatever you need to this right here is you know for you to put your webcam or camera in then you've got FX obviously FX anybody knows that is it is you know basically special effects on top of that you've got all the objects that are already in place you can alter all the objects that are there base you know add different scenes shit like that what you do if you go to objects you can see let me go ahead and turn the visuals off and get it going see right here your main scene or object is going to be the name text right here there's four different ones because there's four different layers if you click it you can see you can change font custom font you know to the font to different ones different sizes details bevels positions is in, change the color ratios, whatever color you wanted, all the way to the you know, it's literally a full detailed editing software that's free to use. But there's a lot of times when I feel like I do an, a new intro, I will literally just go on here to these templates and the only thing you'd have to do, like mine is, you know, strategic cipher. All you have to do is type it in click it go to the next one what I should have done honestly was uh, hit enter not enter but copy because then I could solve a lot of issues all at once copy enter go to the next template paste ah crap I should have backspaced that and then we got one more to do. There we go. And paste. So now, just like that, it has my name. Stuff like that is pretty easy. But then, where it comes into play is if you want to get really finicky with stuff. Like with my intro, she was helping me make it. And she got really finicky with the colors. She's kind of over there. But uh, she got finicky with the colors and had to redo it three times. The one thing, when you have multi layers like this, which also, by the way, you can go behind and look, you can see that you know, multiple layers it makes a 3D effect. You want to change this color right here. Let's see, change it to red. Choose. It's only going to change one layer. So that one layer is going to be red, but the rest is going to be black. See? Doesn't really do anything. So when you do that, you have to go... I'm going to work with my computer. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. You have to go to the other ones. Choose. 
Alright, choose. See, three out of four. And it'll say the top one, it's like a pinkish, whatever you want to call it. Or call, or call it. When you do that, see how it morphs it to some retarded shit. You really have to fin finesse it. Because that's the color, and it, what it's missing is completely different. So let's see, let's go to a brighter red on the missive on one and see what it does. Nothing. So then you would take it and you would go down to the next one. Why are you not scrolling? Work with me, computer. Just work. That's all you gotta do. Alright, well apparently that one doesn't have a missive. Triple click. There we go. Missive. Color. Color. Alright, all those are red. So, say we go from red, change one of them to white, or red, red. There we go. Let's see what we got going there. That was nothing. And it was a top one, yeah, it was top one. That was a ruin. Well, see, sometimes this stuff does not want to work correctly, and it wants to be a pain in the ass. So when it does that, I normally just give up on it and go to another one, because I don't have any patience. See, it's all red, but at the same time, you can. It could always be like a preset filter or preset. Like if they wanted it black and white, but different tones of black and white, they literally would have just put in here that it was, you know, decolorized and shit. So then, you know, you can easily change shit. Like if I wanted to, I go over here to this one. Never even open this and don't even know what it looks like. So, come on. Of course you want to do this stupid shit. Alright, let's see what this one looks like before I even start on it. That was very, uh, laggy. Alright, let's go ahead and do a zo zoom out so we can look at it. We're gonna go over here to objects and see. We got a bunch of lights, text, text. Yeah, see those two groups? It's two text groups. So then, where it says your name. Come on. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. Paste. And. Alright. There we go. Apparently, it's some of it isn't the uh, the website. Sometimes it's just my PC being a pain in the ass. All right, we'll change that. Let's go over here to color. I don't want you to be red. I want you to be purple. Choose. Let's see what this other one is. This other one doesn't have color apparently. Let's see what I changed it to. Boom. It's a missing a purple hue to it. But of course it changes with the way the video is because they have it alternating a little bit. I want to change it up some more. Let's see, purple. They had a green. I don't want green, so I want to do... Yeah, let's go more of a reddish on this one. Choose that. See the red and the purple mixed and it created the pink. So if I see red, red, boom. Both red and mid a straight red. But like I said, the way they have it preset, it still changes as it goes. You're just changing what it starts off as basically. And not really what it starts off as the base don't want to use that stupid ass damn term alright so see these are intros they have yes I want to leave I don't want to save these projects 
They have intros, they have outros. You literally just scroll through. They have a menu option, video creations, background, or clip maker. A lot of times people have them labeled intro, outro, you know. I, at one point when I was streaming, I'd use my OBS to stream, but I would have a little break in there, a little break scene, and it would just constantly loop. But it didn't have music because I added music on OBS. Like, there's, there's so many different options you can use, like Marvel. Then... Let's see what this one looks like. I'm really glad my PC is actually acting pretty decent right now. I think I was pushing out too many bits and it was causing a spaz. See right here? That's an outro. Alright, so this would be some audio that's probably more into comic books and stuff. Because they have a lot of different categories. People made. I mean, can't really print size made, but it's, you know what they've created and put on here for free. Gotta appreciate the people that actually put in the work for stuff. See that was literally just a, a Marvel thing. This one, this one is an outro. This is what I was talking about. And if you don't know how to put outros in, you can put them in as you're making your video. Or you can add them later after it's uploaded to YouTube and then to actually put your videos in these boxes right here all you have to do is to click to add like last video or previous video or whatever video you wanted you put it in there and you would just put it to fit into that box and it fit pretty damn perfect alright if there's any more questions you guys obviously leave a comment below let me know what you guys think about this website if you guys know another website let me know because I'm always down to try new shit especially when it, if it's easier to use in Panzoid or if it has better content also if you haven't subscribed I always stutter on that don't know why but if you haven't subscribed go ahead hit that sub button it's always appreciated almost to 100 and really trying to get there small goal but makes all the effort until next time guys stay lit